DaVinci Resolve 18.1 has been out for a few days now, and I've shown you some of the really cool new features happening inside the Fusion page. Now it's time to put them to work. So today I'm giving away a new free preset for Resolve, and the way this works is something that is only possible because of these new updates in 18.1. If you follow the link in the description and pick up this new free preset, that'll get you to this uh, SSC Magnify DRFX. Just double click to install this in Resolve. And then when you are in Resolve, in your effects library, under Generators, Sterling Supply Co., we have SSC Magnify. Now, because of how this is built, this will not give you the preview like some other ones, but you can drag this right onto your timeline, and I'm dragging this right onto track two. I'm letting go, and you see, hey, some stuff's happening. If I go back and play, you see we have this gameplay, and then we have this circle, this magnifying glass come up, it is zoomed in on that area of the screen, and then when that area is done, it goes away. But with that selected in our inspector, we have a whole bunch of custom controls. And if we uh, take this and come to this little drop down menu uh, over here in our viewer, we can come to Fusion Overlay and actually we can uh, just drag that around our screen whenever we want. And you can see, yeah, this will zoom into wherever we move this, even right up to the edge of our screen. And then you have all these other controls as well. You have this magnify size for how big you want this area to be. Uh, you can always change up this color of the outline or the thickness of this outline. And then you have this zoom amount inside. Uh, now I did include some other uh, smaller settings. This filter method, um, this will be um, how it scales up. Uh, we also have this sharpen, which is on. If I turn that off, you see uh, this is it scaling up by default. Um, maybe the most uh, likely other option you would choose here is nearest neighbor, which actually looks at the individual pixels and like scales them up like perfect. It, it's, it's scaling, it's a little complicated, but you can uh, change this up for some other styles. Um, but with uh, linear or some of these, you can also add sharpen to add a little bit of that uh, detail back in and especially over some of these uh, fine details here, like in the gun or other areas. If you like really care about your ammo count or the score or any of these things, you can, uh, get this right over them, you know, maybe even zoom out a bit then. Really cool. And uh, right at the beginning, uh, when it's coming, it does zoom in, it holds, and then uh, zoom back out. Now this is the default five second length, but I can extend this to any length of time. All right, uh, we are back. Uh, you don't know I took a break. Uh, I took a break to do some bug fixing because these are um, brand new features. Um, that sometimes need to be fixed. All right, so the really cool feature about uh, this now being this standalone effect is uh, that you can stretch this to any length um, now that I've done some stuff on the back end. And then no matter what is going on on the layer below it, uh, but it will uh, zoom into that area and then hold the entire length of this clip and then go back out. You could make it shorter and you could do all sorts of stuff. You could even, because of how this is built, uh, toss this up to this third track, bring in something else on this second track like bring it down here, and then now, oh, well, let me do it this way. If you have multiple things going on, then this magnify will affect everything below it. It's like a uh, built-in, oh, we had some interesting stuff going on there. Uh, it's like a built-in adjustment clip inside the fusion effect. And this will simplify workflow in so many different areas. You don't need to chop up your source clip uh, to get this timing perfectly right. You don't need to have all these adjustment clips for these effects. You can just have all of these as a standalone effect and at any time uh, you can toggle them off and go back to the source footage you are working with. And all of this is possible um, because in Fusion, inside the media in nodes, we have this new background option here. So even though this is a standalone clip, I can change this media source to background. It pulls in whatever else is happening on the edit page. It works. Uh, spoiler alert for those who are super interested. I did have to go in and do some uh, funky stuff with the global out parameter, uh, which then like hides itself after you save it. If you are interested in building effects with these new tools, uh, let me know and I might go into more depth into my uh, current workaround, although I'm hoping uh, this is addressed soon by Blackmagic. This is a powerful, powerful tool and I'd imagine they're gonna do everything they can to make this as smooth as possible. I'm also really interested in checking out uh, the new drop zone feature and specifically I wanna go back and update uh, my social media pop-up that I know tons of people have downloaded, tons of people have loved that. Um, it's past due for an update and this new feature is gonna make ooh, some, some really cool stuff possible. So stick around for that. Uh, download this free uh, Magnify preset, uh, start messing around with it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.